The holidays are literally here, and if you haven't got your Christmas shopping yet, you might want to try out a free 30-day trial for Amazon Prime to take advantage of a ton of discounts and, most importantly, two-day shipping. Some products are even one-day shipping. It is a free 30-day trial, so you can cancel at any time so you won't be charged. It'll definitely help you get some last-minute gifts. Check the free sign-up link in the description down below. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 114 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups. And spoiler alert, since I already edited this episode, we have one of my all-time favorite episodes here, some killer setups. So if you're pumped, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. And don't forget, check the description down below for all the products you see. I'll have them listed down there for you in case you want to check them out. But let's start off episode 114. First up is a really nice and clean black and white setup that is dedicating itself to Galax with the Hall of Fame theme. He's got the custom Hall of Fame acrylic RGB lettering underneath his monitor, as well as his really badass PC being uh, mainly Galax peripherals. We'll check that all out in a minute. But getting into his gear mounted on that backdrop, there is a single monitor, the Acer Predator X34. Really great ultra wide monitor that is awesome for gaming. Got some RGB lights behind the monitor as well to splash some color behind it and like I said that custom um, homemade sign here with the Hall of Fame writing there that also has RGB lights embedded inside. As for his peripherals he has the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard with silent switches inside with the Corsair M65 Pro RGB mouse with the Corsair MM800 RGB Polaris mouse pad. The trifecta is strong. I actually spoke too soon because for audio he has the Corsair Wireless Void RGB headset with the Corsair ST100 RGB headset stand. So. All the peripherals here, head to toe, are Corsair RGB. And then above his setup, he has these cool uh, black and white Dragon Ball Z prints with this pretty badass looking Gundam figure. He has down the Gundam Strike Freedom. Looks pretty cool. All right, and now to this open-aired PC, which looks really great. He has the uh, Thermaltake Core P3, which is the white snow edition, inside is the Intel i7 7700K CPU with the Galax AIO, 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on the ASRock Z270 Extreme 4 motherboard, and obviously the Galax GTX 1080 Hall of Fame graphics card. So a really nice looking, you know, open-air PC that is white and RGB, be I'm 100% drooling over this. And just the setup itself is so neat and organized. You can see underneath the desk here, we get a shot at this great cable management. Really nothing in sight. It's all kept up and tidy. And it is a custom made desk, he said. But altogether, really, really nice. All black and white. Loving what he did here. We're starting off this episode strong. Now we got Kylo with this dual monitor setup, and every time I see these colors together, something about like a teal and purple, it blends together so nice. Here's a great job of mending RGB lights and a killer desktop wallpaper. So the primary mounted display is a Samsung CF791, it's 3440 by 1440p, nicely mounted, and that secondary one off to the side is a 23 inch Dell display. As for the peripherals, he has the Corsair Gaming Strafe RGB keyboard with a different set of white keycaps with Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum mouse, my all time fave as you guys know, on a nice black and white extended mouse pad. And then for audio, his headphones there, the Sennheiser HD598, and they're powered by the shit Magni and Modi 2 amp and deck. He's got them both nicely tucked away underneath his desktop, and you can see the blue snowball there for his microphone. Headed over to the PC, this case is the Pantex P400S. It has tampered glass, tampered glass, what? Tempered glass? Not even gonna edit that out. And then as for specs, he has the Intel i7-7700K CPU with the NZXT Kraken X62 AIO, 16 gigs of again g skull Trident Z RGB RAM on the MSI M5 Gimme motherboard, and an EVGA 1080 Ti super clocked black edition graphics card. Nice to see the PC on display here on the left side of the desk. Gotta gotta flaunt the, the nice look to it, you know? And since the bulk of his setup is in black and white, it's nice when he wants to switch it up to add some color with the light strip and the RGB peripherals. Either way, he can make it as flashy as he wants. Then we've got Mayoon with about 7,000 O's. This one looks really nice. I love the wooden aesthetic here with the desk, wooden frames on the keyboard prints above the wall, the three monitors, 
those sexy looking uh, keyboards underneath his desk as well. Definitely a keyboard enthusiast. Let's check this out. So for those three displays, they're all different. His two primary ones are 24 inches, one's from LG, one's from Asus, and that vertical one on the left side is from Dell. I'm telling you guys, I see this orientation more and more, and I definitely know that vertical orientation gives you a lot more screen real estate with things like coding or web browsing, and it looks really good here. Taking a look at this glorious overhead shot at his peripherals, this is great. He's rocking a custom KBD Fans Tina C keyboard, got like white and gray keycaps, some teal backlighting, as well as that custom teal braided cable. And for his mouse, it's Zowie EC2A, and it's on a nice Cherry MX desk mouse pad. Nice and extended, obviously a keyboard enthusiast, because check this out. Got a glorious little collection here, uh, the KBD Fans KBD75, the XD75, the Leopold FC 6600C, and the Leopold 10 Keyless. Oh baby. Then for audio, his headphones are the Philips SHP 9500S headphones with the Blue Yeti USB microphone. Now we get into the obvious sexy PC as well. This is the Inwin 303 case inside of Intel i7 6700K CPU with the NZXT Kraken X61 AIO on an Asus Z170A motherboard. G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM, that's three in a row. And the AVGA GTX 1070 FTW graphics card. For whatever reason though, his Trident Z RGB RAM is not turned on. Not too sure why, would definitely add some more pizzazz if even needed. But I'm definitely digging this one. Got the three monitors, loving the keyboard collection here. That one's close to my heart. And it's very, you know, warm and calming. I like the whole warm tones it's got going on with the lights. Now we got Matthew, and damn, I'm changing my name to Matthew because I want this room. I want this setup. So from now on, call me Random Matthew D. I better see a bunch of comments if you're still watching at this point. Anyway, the setup's got dual stacked monitors, a nice little entertainment setup off to the left side of the room. This one's looking awesome. So checking out his primary desk setup, obviously got the IKEA little duo here with the Carlby desktop and the Alex drawers. It's funny how much people give me crap when it comes to me showing off setups with this desk, but I love it and it's very popular, so just chill. But for those monitors, you got two of the LG 34 UM69G. They're 34 inches a piece and it's using a flex mount D1DV vertical dual desk mount here. So if you wanna have a similar uh, orientation like this, you can pick up this mount and props for the spanned wallpaper. For the peripherals, there's the Corsair Gaming K95 Platinum RGB keyboard with the Corsair M65 Pro RGB mouse with the SteelSeries Quick Plus gaming pad. For speakers, it's Logitech Z337. And although it's not pictured, he has the SteelSeries Siberia 800 wireless headset. Then as for his PC, he has the Fractal Define Mini case and inside is an Intel i5 4690K CPU with the Cryorig H7 CPU cooler on the Asus Z97i Plus motherboard and the EVGA GTX 1070 Superclock graphics card along with a ton of hard drive space. That includes a one terabyte Samsung SSD and a Samsung 950 Pro M.2. And then all for his entertainment set up here off to the side. I really like the whole uh, the entertainment center here. It's simple. Got the little mix of white with some splash of wood in the color. Got a 55 inch Vizio TV along with a Samsung uh, sound bar there underneath with an RGB light strip underneath that. But just all together, this is a really, really badass setup. You can kick back on the bed there as you can see. Play the Nintendo Switch, watch some TV, head over to his badass desk setup, game there. Really, really liking how clean this is as well, and a good use of RGB lighting. It's not overdoing it. And then we have Sean here with a really clean setup. Again, loving the wooden desktop. But the one thing that caught my eye with this, and it's very simple, was kind of that DIY steampunk uh, speaker stands there. So something little like that, but it really takes the setup to the next level. More on that in a little bit. He said he got the piping from Lowe's here to complete the desk and the speaker stands. Great stuff. So keeping it simple and clean with that solo display, that's the ASUS ROG PG348Q. Looking nice and it definitely fits in. Although for his monitor mount, it looks like he does have room to upgrade because it looks like there's two arms there. So maybe he's thinking of upgrading in the future. Who knows? But I like the way it looks right now. For his peripherals, he has the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard with the Razer Aurora Bose Elite wireless mouse on the Corsair extended mouse pad here. You can see he has the cable from his keyboard routed nicely to go along the, uh, the seam of his mouse pad, so keeping the cable cluttered down, giving it a nice seamless and clean look. Even going as far to find a wooden uh, wireless charging pad for his phone. 
It's the attention to detail, people. And these are the Q Acoustics 3020 speakers. And like I said before, with the kind of like steampunk uh, speaker stand it's on, it just looks really, really nice and unique. It's all DIY. I love when people go the extra mile to do something in special to their setup to help it fit in with the theme. And this just makes it really stand out. Now as for his PC, a completely custom water-cooled job, looking really nice, and even though his setup's primarily, you know, warmer tones with the wooden accents, this bright, vibrant, pinkish purple definitely makes it stand out, but in a good way. That's the Leon Lee PC-08 case, inside is an Intel i7-7700K CPU, he's got 64 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM on the Asus Extreme assembly motherboard, and two EVGA Hydro Copper 980 Ti graphics cards, but... I think just, you know, the, the highlight here is that EK water loop. It looks really cool. And then another setup that does a great job with cable management here, routing it properly, keeping everything out of sight. So, Sean, my man, really, really good stuff. Love your attention to detail and just the will to go above and beyond with the, you know, the custom PC, the custom speaker stands, finding a wooden Qi charger so, so it blends in. This looks amazing. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the description down below for all the products you saw. Let me list it down there for you, as well as some simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be considered to be on a future episode of Room Tour Project. Check the links down below for everything. Like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.